Okay, so what we're doing here is the Brown Brothers gave me an old engine stand that they uh, had upgraded. I want to make a stand to house the new 18-inch bead roller, well, new to me. I'm going to start with taking the wheels off. I don't want this stand to be able to roll around. I want it to be solid and on the ground. The jacket is Art Captain, it's flame retardant, so are the gloves. This one is perfect for this time of year in Texas. Um, here we are in October and I think it's up to 69. My welder is a MIG 205 Pro. Uh, it does MIG. Flux core, lift TIG, and DC stick. Uh, it's an incredible unit. It's really easy to use. It's easy to dial in. Um, you can sync the amperage and the wire feed if you want, where they both adjust on your own, or you can split them up and do them separately. This is the Art Captain brushless lithium die grinder with a 180 degree rotation mode. The thing is really handy when you're in a bond or if you're in a scenario where you can't necessarily uh, change your position, you can swing that head around and it, it will change it on itself. Really nice item. So here I'm just welding uh, a series of bolts at the same angle using the magnet for the die storage. Pretty simple, it's kind of time consuming, but it's gonna pay off, I think. Ooh, that pop is hot.
Let's go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. The plasma machine is the Cut 55 Prolux. It's eating this thick metal like it's nothing. And this is, I think this was on 45 amps at the time, which is ridiculously low. Okay, so we uh, spray painted this thing. Uh, I've got the Woodward Fab bead roller mounted to it. I've loaded the dies on the die stands. I'm really happy with it. I want to take the smaller unit, the Eastwood, the original, the OG, and I want to put it on here. I want to drill a couple holes and tap them so I can use this on it also. I think that'll be super beneficial. So let's do that. What you say? What you say? What you say? Give me that bomb beat from Dre. Uh, grind, ground it, grind it, ground it, ground the paint or powder coat off of there so I can actually see my marks a little better. I'm using these long bib Sharpies. They're super handy, super cheap. Uh, I'll dig through my Amazon link and sit it on there, but really handy to get in holes and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That beats the hell out of trying to squeeze a normal Sharpie or marker in there like that. So first I am going to punch some center holes. Oh wait, I can't use this. Okay, so this plate is pretty thick, so I'm gonna step drill this. I've got three different size drill bits. The last one will be the size that I need for the tap to thread it. Oh, sorry. This is a boring video. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on here.
Tap this other one. Looks like it's gonna line up well. Okay, so now it's even cooler. It'll hold both uh, feed rollers, but both of them accept the same size dies. So. Hopefully you guys have seen something on this video that you can't live without from Mark Captain. These guys have been really good to the channel. They've been good to us and uh, I'd like to repay them. You know, Christmas is coming up. If you need some help, I can help you out. Click on the affiliate link in the description of this video. And if you go through there to purchase from Art Captain, you'll save an additional 5% of their already of low prices. I think that grinder would make an excellent Christmas gift with the 180 swivel head. 